Uh, on a day where overall the bullpen struggled, Brad Brock continues his tear. Over the last seven games, he has been lights out. And what might have happened if he couldn't go three innings in this one? He was terrific. Oh, he sure was, and he has really stepped up, uh, done whatever Buck Showalter has asked of him, and today was no different. I mean, three strong innings, really had a good fastball. He worked in last night's ball game and ended up picking up the win. You see the innings here, three innings, just the one hit allowed, one walk, four punch outs. Only took him 45 pitches. He had great life on his fastball, 94, 95 miles an hour. You know, he has great effect with that crossbody delivery. Very tough and obviously effective on both lefties and righties. He's able to throw that slider. He's locating very well, and at times he dropped that change up in there. So he's on top of his game, and they needed him to step up today. Another huge performance by Brock. You know, Mike, today it turned out to be a slugfest towards the end, and of course it was late in the ballgame, but early in that game, Kevin Gosman, what I thought was spectacular. He reached 99 miles an hour for those last two or three innings, and he blew some of those Boston hitters away today. He looked great. What did you think? Oh, yeah. Well, I agree with you, and I love the fact that he established his fastball. He said, here it is. I'm going to throw it early in the ball game. I'm going to show you this is what I got, and it certainly helped him as the game progressed. He was challenging hitters. He showed he had the great velocity early in the game, locating down in the zone. Beautiful pitch right there. Bradley Jr. on an up-and-away fastball. That's what he did. He was able to locate down in the zone, then get some swing and misses up. Napoli chases the high fastball there. 99 miles an hour on that fastball to Napoli, then backs it up with 99 to, or 98 to Drew. So great life on his fastball. When he needed to, he'd come up with that changeup or split finger to get some swings. But the fastball was the key. He was able to execute it down in the zone for some big strikeouts. And when he needed to, by... Uh, you know, he wanted to. It wasn't a mistake elevating. He was able to get some swing and misses up there as well. So uh, really challenging hitters. He wasn't messing around at all. Almost pitched like he had a chip on his shoulder, showing that he had that strong fastball, and it was effective the whole game for him. All right, Mike, from a player's perspective, what can the Orioles take out of this game when you consider the range of emotions? Here they have the big lead. It slips away. They're battling into extra innings. A lot of anxiety in the extra innings. They get the win. Is there any carryover whatsoever coming off a big win heading into tomorrow? Oh, there always is. I mean, it's, this was an important series coming up here to Boston. Always a tough place to play, even though the Red Sox are struggling a little bit. They had to grind it out. I mean, it was a tough travel day and then the doubleheader yesterday. So a lot of baseball uh, really tested their way through, showed their character once again, showed that this is a very resilient team, even with the lead today, you know, and giving it up to tie the ball game. They were able to battle their way through. And there were some great stars, you know, that really stepped up. Brock, obviously, the most important, but David Lowe. He'd been sitting on the bench the whole ball game. A couple nice defensive plays playing the green monster and that huge triple there to lead off that inning. So, uh, you know, the whole team contributing here to this victory. And, uh, of course, uh, the win on the series against the Red Sox. So a lot to take out of it. And I think it's uh, nothing but positives when you come in and win a ball game, win a series especially. All right, Mike Border joining us from Fenway Park. Mike, have a safe trip to D.C. We'll see you tomorrow.